Hey everyone, um, this is part two of the eBay listing, uh, eBay templates video. In part one, I talked about how to create a listing template inside SellerChamp, how to set up some rules and so forth. In this video, I'm going to go more into detail on how to actually take an existing uh, listing that's currently active on eBay and how to take that HTML of that eBay listing and copy that into uh, SellerChamp so that we can you can reuse it. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you do is you go into your search and account, make sure you're on the eBay account, click on settings, templates, and all of this I've covered in my previous video, so I'm going to go through quickly here. Add template, create custom templates, since that's what you'll be creating. Click on choose, click next, and just call it my custom template or something. Alright, and then uh, just click save. All right, and now what we'll do is we're going to take this and we're going to edit the layout in HTML of this template. Okay, so it's empty right now as you can see. And what we'll do is I have a client here for which we recently did this. So we we'll use that client as an example. This is the eBay template that they have, right? This is their eBay listing. Actually, it's live, right? And we're going to take this template, uh, basically this image and the color scheme and all that. That's what you call a template, right? The look and feel. I'm going to import this into SellerChamp so that all of their listings that they list using SellerChamp going forward have the same format and the same look and feel. All right? Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing you do, you put the eBay listing. Click on anywhere. Make sure you're using the Chrome browser, Google Chrome browser. Click on anywhere. Right-click anywhere on the listing. Okay? And click on inspect. When this opens up, scroll up to where you will find the this section here. DS underscore ID, uh, DS underscore DIB, okay? So collapse, so click on the arrow next to it. That's going to collapse the entire region. Right click, copy, copy outer HTML. All right? Go to your favorite text editor, whatever you want to use. Open up a new file, paste it in there, okay? All right, there it is. Save the file. Custom template HTML. All right, the next thing you want to do is go into the first line and add this section HTML. Okay, now go scroll all the way down to the last line and close out the HTML tag. HTML done. Okay, now we'll go back up to the first line, add another tag called head. Okay, and then close out the head. The way you close it is you just use the cat symbol backslash. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to take all of our style information that's inside the listing, any styling, right? Anything that has a style tag, any meta tags, any link tags, we're going to take all of that and move them into the head section, okay? If we don't do that, then your template's not going to work. So that's really important. So I'm going to look for the style tag. I'm going to copy it until it closes. So I'm going to go to the closing tag. So select everything until, the, until I get to the closing tag which is right here. I'm going to cut it, put it inside the head section. I'm going to search the file for any more style tags. There's one more right here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy it until that closing tag. Where is the closing tag? Uh, right there, closing tag, right? Cut it, <coughs> put it inside the, put it just below the other style tag, inside the head section. All right, look for any more style tags. And then on inside the head, of course, and that's it. We only found two. All right, I don't see any meta tags, I don't see any link tags, so I'm good to go. Now comes the interesting part. We are going to now this this is actually the HTML for this specific listing. Okay, so the title is this this title here, the description is this description here. We need to convert this into a template so that it works with any listing. Okay, so instead of saying Sony Bra series Bravia, it'll actually display the products. Uh, the product title, the product for which this template is being used, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take away these ex ex specific titles and we're going to replace them with what is known as placeholders, okay? And there are several placeholders that you can use inside SellerChamp. To view all of them, when you go into the upload layout HTML, you'll see this um, 
text here, list of preview tags, click here. And if you click here, this is this has all the different placeholders that you can use inside your template. Placeholders basically take the, you know, our, our dynamic insertions is, is, is what basically what that is. It's going to take your product's content and insert it inside that placeholder. It's going to take the product's title and insert it into the placeholder that says item title. It's going to take the product description and insert it into the placeholder that says item description. That's basically what a placeholder is. So what we have to do is we have to go through our entire HTML, remove any hard-coded like specific titles that that were inside that HTML and then replace them with placeholders. All right. So we do the first thing here. We'll take the title away and replace them with item title. All right. Now, any other product that uses this template, their product title will go inside here. All right. We're going to do the same thing with description. So let's scroll down to description of the product. There it is. All of this is the description of the product. So we're going to remove all of this, this entire content up until here. Just delete it. And we're going to say item description. All right. And you can refer to Stella Champ for the spelling and everything. Okay. You can either use this or this. It's the same thing. Item description. All right. And what else do we need to replace here? Let's look at the template. Okay, we got the title, we got the description, the location, we have to do the location. So we're going to scroll down into item location, there is location, this is Portland, Oregon. We're going to remove that and we're going to put the placeholder for location, which is just item location. All right, so make sure you use one of these placeholders. You know, you can't just put anything in there. It has to be one of these placeholders, okay? If you need placeholders that we don't currently support, just contact us and we can work with you and get those placeholders added. All right, I think that's it. We've got the location. All of this is static text, so that, that's not dynamic, right? This is all static text. It doesn't change from listing to listing, so we're going to keep them as is. The only remaining thing now are the images, right? The images are definitely different for each product, so we need to put placeholders for the images as well. And the way those placeholders look, is like this here. So item image URL one would be the uh, the link to the first image. Item image URL two would be the link for the second image and so forth. Okay. Now you can also hide show uh, uh, the images dynamically. So the CSS one, CSS two, CSS three is used for that. Because um, in this listing, you can have, see in eBay, you can have up to 12 images. Okay. Now in this listing, there's only five, you see. So what about the remaining ones that are missing? Where well, they're hidden, basically. They're not showing up. We've, we've hidden them. And the way you do that is you use the and you, you use the CSS tags to hide those images. I'll show you how that works. Okay. All right. So let's let's just do this. Okay. So and and you'll see what I mean. So first thing we do is we go into our images section. So we can see that just below the title and contact us, we've got the images section. So let's find that. All right, so let's find that first. So um, item title, there it is. And then contact us, there it is. And if we scroll down some more, right here. Image one start, image one end. This is our images section. All right, so let's clean that up first so before we start making changes. And here it helps to know a little bit of HTML um, so that you know how to sort of organize this stuff, right? Um, so let me then open, clean up my label tags. I'm just lining everything up basically is all I'm doing um, so that it's easier for me to change stuff. Okay, all good. So now as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. Five tags. One, two, three, four, five. Each of these tags, okay, represent one of these images. We're going to go in there. And we're going to take the, the URL that's static that points to this specific image and replace it with the placeholder. So we're going to take this out and we're going to replace it with item image URL one. All right. And we're going to do the same thing for the other one. All right. Take this out and replace that with item image URL two. All right the same thing with the other one five images okay so now when we list it it's actually going to replace this with the actual product image all right and we do the same thing for the labels what that is is basically this represents the radio buttons 
these input tags and these represent the actual preview, the actual big image. So we changed it for the big image as well. All right, and all I've done is I've replaced the images for all of them. <coughs> now, I'm not gonna have just five images. Some products may have more than five images. This product happens to have only five images, that's why there's five tags, but you might have more than five images, right? So maybe 12, up to 12, right? So how do we support that? Well, all we do is we just copy this, okay? And we change, the, change it up to 12. So five, this becomes a six, this becomes seven, this becomes eight, this becomes nine, 10, 11, and 12. So now we're supporting up to 12 images. And we do the same thing for labels as well. And now we're supporting up to 12 images, okay? Now there's another wrinkle. Uh, basically what that is, is right now, if the images are missing, like if this product only has five images, and, uh, and we display this page, it's going to actually display empty images for the rest of it. I'll show you that, what I mean by that. Let me open up this uh, template and see what it looks like, okay? So downloads, my custom template. All right, you see how all of these are empty? Okay, that's what it's going to look like in, uh, in your actual live listing uh, if the images are missing. If the product only has five images, the, the remaining seven are gonna show up like this, which is very ugly, we don't want that. The way you hide that, SearchAmp has a way you can hide, hide those images. And for that, what you do is you go, in, go into your input here and you add class equals item image URL, item image CSS1, okay? This will dynamically get replaced with the word hide and that's going to hide it. So I'm gonna just copy this and paste it in each of my input tags towards the end. That's it, and then same thing for the labels. You see label already has a class tag, right? So I'm not gonna add a new one. I'm going to just put a space in front and then put item image CSS1. Copy that into all of the other ones, okay? All right, all right, done. So now I've got the CSS. Now, the thing is I just copied CSS1 all the way across. We just need to update that to be CSS2, CSS3, CSS4, five, and so forth, okay? All right, all cleaned up. I've got my CSS in place to dynamically hide and show the images based on whether or not they are available. I've got the URLs in place. Almost done, there's only one thing remaining. You see these IDs? This is ID dash one, dash two, dash three, dash four. I need to get the rest of these numbers changed as well. So dash five, dash six, dash seven. Where are we missing one? And the, and the reason, um, the reason these are needed, just so you know, is, is because this is what controls the, uh, the dynamic. When, when I click this image, when I click this image, this shows up. The way that happens is because of the ID tags. These match up. And so that's how the, the program knows to, to show this image, this preview image when this little thing, this little guy here is clicked. Anyways, that's it. And now my template is ready. Now I'm going to basically um, save it. Control A, Control C, copy the whole thing. Go into Cellchamp. And then inside my layout HTML section where we were, I'm going to again click the three dots, click on these a carrot symbol to get into the HTML mode, remove this empty space and paste it with my HTML, all right? And then save it. And there it is, that's my template, all right? That's how it works, and then hit save here. All right, so that's how you take an existing eBay listing and convert it into a template inside of Sellerchamp so that you can reuse it across all your other listings. I hope that was helpful. Um, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Just send us a message using our chat icon at the bottom of the screen or, or schedule a help session. Um, if you're not able to figure this out um, and you need us, need our help, we can do that for you as well. We do, do charge a fee for that, but it is definitely an option. So don't hesitate to reach out to us, okay? Thanks and have a great day.